Good morning. It is Saturday at 7.09. I'm having a dinner function tonight, so my wife has instructed me to clean up records off the floor and try to get them in the shelves. When I buy a record, I put them down here, and then they go in the degritter, and then once they're in the degritter, I go on to um, Discogs, and I I put them in there, and I enter the information, and then I've had a database myself for years, that for 20 years at least, where I put various things, and so it's like double the work, but I feel at least if Discogs go down, I have it. Um, so once I do that, I put them over there, and they're ready to get played, and once they get played, they go on the floor over there to eventually get shelved. So now I'm going to take a few from there and a few from there and show them off. Um, I guess this would be like a vinyl finds for February. Uh, the first one is, let's see, I don't need my thing down. May Blitz. This is on the Vertigo label. This is an artist I've never heard of until I started getting into the Vertigo label with Black Sabbath and Aphrodite's Child. And that sort of stuff. It's hard rock, prog, psychish. It's really good. I like it a lot. I'm gonna get more. Um, that's the label. This is a 1970 France first issue. VG plus, VG plus. Um, I bought it. They said it was EXEX, and this, to me, this is kind of a lower VG plus. It's a really cool album. Josephus, Dead Man, another album. I've never, another band I've never heard of until like five months ago. And then I was at a store in LA and I saw it in really crappy condition, but it actually plays good. They're from Houston, 1970. A good condition of this is super rare. This wasn't as rare because of the covers got steam splits and lots of damage. And it's got their name on it Brewer 70. I'd like to meet Brewer. From 1970 and see what other records he has um, the song dead man is really cool it's a very long it's like they're they're free bird but better I wonder if they met Rocky Erickson on 13 floor elevators being nearby in Houston Josephus Zeppelin 2 everyone knows this album this is the monarch pressing with RL on both sides, which is kind of the pressing that you want to get. Um, I love this album. I bought this locally, and I think they said it was a VG, VG, some background noise, plays great. When I got it, and I put it into my database as a VG minus cover and a G plus vinyl. There's no skips, but there's background noise in most of the quiet spots. But it rocks and it's good. It's my, my second RL. The other one's the White Label promo of the same album. Kingdom Come. This is a band. When I worked at Microsoft around 1988, I had to commute from Auburn, Washington to um, Redmond. And Redmond, Washington. And it was a good hour, over an hour, and so I remember when this came on the radio, it sounded like Led Zeppelin, uh, and I liked it. I thought it was good. I've never had the album, saw it at a record store recently, U.S. Press, and I remember liking most of the tracks on this. I've only heard a couple songs of it since I've had it, so I probably shouldn't sell it until I play it. Wasp. 1984, 85, Scorpions was my favorite band. And then this came out, I was in a heavy metal type phase and I loved it. The song was great, I saw them on MTV. They opened for a band that I don't remember who I saw, but I remember seeing, going there because Wasp. It was really good, I enjoyed it. I just played it recently and I think it still stands the test of time. I found this and a later album which I've never heard or seen of before cheap locally wasp skid row 
I've never liked Skid Row, at least back in the day. Um, when this came out, what was this, 89? I was heavily into grunge. I lived in Seattle, so I was going to a lot of shows, and Skid Row was not one of those. I remember when they'd come on, it'd be so annoying. Um, but as years gone by, I've gone to appreciate them. This is another one that I bought as a VG Plus, VG Plus. And actually, it's a VG, VG. That seems to be what I do. Skid Row. Two years after that, War Babies. This is a band from Seattle. This came out in 91. They were signed on Columbia Records, but they were heavy metal, hard rock when in Seattle, grunge was taking over. And so when this album came out, Nevermind hit, and Columbia decided to not promote these guys, and they pretty much dropped them after this came out. Um, the lead singer, Brad Sensel, was in TKO, a, a big Seattle area band. Um, and the other members, all the members have played in all, a bunch of Seattle bands out throughout the 80s. All the grunge bands, all that, but these guys liked hard metal and they stuck to it. And they still do that, but I don't think they made much money out of it. This is a press from the Netherlands, presents from the Netherlands. This came out in Brazil, in Spain, and the Netherlands, and not in the US, so I had to get this from the Netherlands. And the first track, Hang Me Up, was co written by Kiss, Paul Stanley from Kiss. And then they, I guess they put out a single on Tommy. He messaged me when he saw me posted on Instagram and said he didn't even know they put out that single. He's never seen it before, so I. I gave it to him, so now I need another one. So if anyone ever sees that single, um, I can pick it up. War Babies. And the last one. Oh, Courtney Love. She did not kill Kurt. Um, this is the second album from 1994. I bought the CD when it came out. Um, it wasn't released in the United States, at least the vinyl at that point. So for a first pressing this is German first pressing and sounds really good I, I very much enjoy this record uh, and I've got the singles I've seen Courtney five or six times I think the last time was at the Hollywood Bowl when she opened up for Lana Del Rey and hopefully she'll release another album because I don't know that Wasp and Courtney Love is really my big guilty pleasure that is my vinyl finds for February and check out the bands if you don't know them already and have a good one.